Hey there guys, I'm Daniel and I help people feel better all the time, feel happiness, feel fulfillment, enjoyment and truly really take control over their life and over their state of being so they can create their life consciously and live a more happy and fulfilling life. Today I will speak to you about my understandings of energy, frequency and vibration. You know this famous quote from Nikola Tesla? He said that if you want to understand the nature of the universe, think of energy, frequency and vibration. And I will share with you my profound understandings, my realization and my insights towards these three things, energy, frequency and vibration. How they relate towards our ability to manifest our reality without being a victim of the universe, but being the creator as we were supposed to be before we came into this physical incarnation. Here is how it works. Well, basically it's quite simple. I'll first explain to you my understandings about energy. You know that everything is energy. The universe is created out of energy. I'm cr The thing that I'm doing right now that I'm speaking to you is an act of energy. Basically everything is energy. My words and you hearing my words is energy. This whole event, this situation is made out of energy. Everything physical, for example this pen here and everything around me, the clothing, the, the shirt, and this stone, everything is out of, made out of energy. All the physical reality is energy, all the situation and circumstances that we experience in our life. All of this makes up the energy aspect of reality. So basically all the visible and not visible things are energy. Then we have frequency and vibration, which are the two more important things. Frequency, you can think of frequency as your desires, as your visions of what you want to experience in life. Basically, when something contrasting happens in our life, a contrasting experience, you know that every time there are things that are good and bad, depending on our perception, of course, but we, we label things as both good and bad that happen in the outer reality. And when something bad happens, then instantly we shoot this rocket of desire. This, this is actually an Abraham Hicks thing, if you listen to her, it's, it's, she's quite interesting. So yeah, you shoot this rocket of desire of the best reality that you want to experience in this aspect of life. So it's like um, if you're at a job that you don't like and you have this coworker that doesn't really treat you that well and you feel bad, then instantly you shoot this rocket of desire that you want to be at a better job or that you want to have better colleagues at work or yeah, something that is more resonating with you and that makes you feel better. You instantly have this vision, but then you shift your focus again to the circumstances, to what is, to what is really to what is manifested in the physical realm and then you feel bad once again. So the frequency part is your desire. When you shoot this rocket of desire, you have a new realization, a new vision, a new manifestation that you want to see in the outer reality. This is the, the this has to do with frequency. So basically the strength of your desire is the frequency part and then vibration is your attitude toward, towards what is. You have this many circumstances in your life and your attitude towards them is is what makes up your vibration and then your vibration with your frequency attracts the reality that starts manifesting in the outer reality. It attracts from the non-physical realm to the physical realm. So I'll give you an example and I think it will be quite easy for you to understand this with this example. Imagine that there was a person that was constantly slapping you all around and you don't have any choice. You are basically just standing at this place or at some place and there was this person who was basically swapping you at all times. Then what you can do in this situation is you can feel bad because he's slapping you. That's the, one of the options. You can also like appreciate what is and then have the desire to change what is basically to uh, remove this person who is slapping you and to import another person who is more loving to you or something like this. And yeah, basically those are the two options you have. So let's look at this circumstance as energy, frequency and vibration. The situation, the circumstance that there is somebody slapping you is made out of energy. Your body, the body of the other person who is slapping you and the action that he's taking to slap you around, this is, this is the part that's made out of energy. Then you have the frequency part. And the frequency part is your desire for this person to stop slapping, your desire to change the manifestation of this reality to something that's more alignment with you and that makes you feel better. And then the vibration part is basically your attitude towards this situation, towards this circumstance. So then you feel bad or you feel good for the thing that is happening. You have your desire no matter what. I mean, the desire that you put out to the universe is made absolutely automatically. You don't have to think about this. But your attitude towards what is, towards the circumstance is the important part because this will make your desire manifest easier or harder. If, for example, your attitude is bad, is negative, you feel bad that this person is constantly slapping you, then what might happen in the next parallel reality that gets manifested because everything is like we're constantly shifting to parallel rea realities this is 
quite important to understand also. The next parallel reality that you are going to attract is going to be similar. So basically you feel bad and then he'll, he'll continue to slap you around. But if you feel good for, for this circumstance that he's slapping you and you still have the desire to change that, basically you appreciate what is, you say thank you to your other person that's slapping you and you say, okay, thank you. Thank you for doing this for me. Thank you for slapping you for five minutes already. I really appreciate it, but I like to experience something else. I want to change the circumstance. However, I really like it, I enjoy it, I'm thankful and grateful for it, but I want to experience something else. So your frequency is the exact opposite to what energy shows, the, the circumstance shows. For example, the, the circumstance is positive, let's put it like positive. It, it doesn't have to be positive, but it's, it's what it is. You don't have control over that. So the person slapping you, this is positive. Then your frequency, your desire is negative because you want to change what is. So it's always negative. But then for you to make it possible to make the change, your vibration towards the circumstance has to be positive also. So then the negative and positive can attract each other. Because if, if it's negative and negative, if your attitude towards this circumstance or situation is negative and your desire is also negative compared to what is, compared to the energy aspect of the, of the situation, then these things will repel each other and you will feel bad. So you will attract the same event over and over again and your desire won't get manifested. But if your attitude is positive, you appreciate what is, you appreciate the person slapping you, but still, you still want for him to change and to change his attitude towards you and for you to experience something better than him slapping you over and over again. Then you have your attitude positive, your desire negative compared to what is, and then it will be easier for you to experience another parallel reality when the person is not existent and he stops slapping you. So that, so then you actually feel happy because you felt happy before that. You get what I'm saying? I really hope that you get what I'm saying because it's quite complicated, but that's what, that's what I understand as energy frequency and vibration. And this is evident in all aspects of our lives. So if we want to change our financial aspect of life or our health and wellness or love and relationship, all of these things, we have to look at it the same way. The circumstances, the situation and everything is energy. Some of this video, basically, I'll, I'll explain this. The situation, circumstance and everything is energy. Then your desire towards the change, your desire for your new vision, for what you want to manifest instead in a different parallel reality is the frequency part, which is not the same as what is. And vi your vibration is your attitude to what is, to the energy part. So it's like energy vibration and frequency. You can look at it this way because your vibration is toward what is and your frequency is again towards what is, but basically your vibration and your frequency has to be the opposite pose. And you can try this, like try this with something simple. Try it, for example, if you want to manifest a text from somebody, you want to mani manifest a text from somebody you love and the reality that is right now, the energy part is that you don't have the text then your attitude towards the, towards the reality, this is the vibration part, is that you, you feel good, you appreciate that no one is really texting you right now, but your frequency should be that you want to manifest this. But then you should be okay with what is, because if you expect what you want to manifest, then your situational attitude, your vibrational attitude towards what is will be negative to your desire and they, they will repel each other. It's like the pose, the pose of a magnet. If you put a negative side of the magnet and another negative side of the magnet against each other and you try to connect them, they will repel each other. But if it's like negative and positive, your desire is, is negative and your attitude towards what is, is positive, then your desire will have a higher chance of manifesting in the next parallel reality that you experience. So this is really interesting and this is how basically the law of attraction works on a really small and like huge scale uh, at the same time. You can use this in all aspects of life. Give this a try. I hope you understood this video. I hope you got something out of it and you understood how reality works basically. If you like this video, if you got any value out of it, you can comment down below your experience with it, your experience with what you learned and what you decided to implement. And if you really find this helpful and interesting, I would really appreciate it if you give a like and a subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye.